guys, it's Jessica from Korea now, back with another COVID-19 report. Starting on March 22nd, South Korea began to tighten quarantine on arrivals from abroad, especially Europe, due to clusters of infections and imported cases from there. Now, all the returnees from European nations will be required to get tested for COVID-19 and self-isolate for two weeks regardless of symptoms. So behind me is South Korea's major conglomerate, SK Group's training institute in Incheon. It is one of the seven treatment centers for novel coronavirus used for returnees from Europe. This building has been remaining empty with no schedules from the SK Group itself. As you can see, uh, the main entrance, all the side doors, and just any other way to enter this institute is fiercely guarded by the police and all barricaded with no outside contact. The security is very, very tight here, and the overall atmosphere is very strict, like some military bases. And as you can see, uh, the institute itself is located right by the ocean, but literally, it's middle of nowhere. The institute is actually located only 20 minutes away from the Incheon International Airport, so I guess the government wanted to reduce the amount of time the passengers stay at the airport by sending them to this facility for further testing. Inside this institute building right now, there are six passengers returned from Europe yesterday with no fever or symptoms. This institute has 67 double rooms and each of the six passengers are having their own room. They'll be staying here until today to get tested for the COVID-19 virus. If a person tests positive, he or she will be sent to a designated hospital right away. The ones tested negative will go home but will be required to self-isolate for another two weeks and during that time, health authorities will check their health conditions on a daily basis by telephone. Anyone, both Korean or foreigner, who violates the rules in self-isolation will be punished under Korean law and will face a fine of up to 3 million won. The 64 new cases which are detected Sunday has now brought the nation's total infections to 8,961. According to Health Ministry, on the first day of the special quarantine measure, a total of 1,442 passengers from Europe got tested and 152 of them shared symptoms. The health authorities are also considering expanding such measure to passengers from the United States and other Asian countries as well. This COVID-19 outbreak is not just about one country. We all have to help each other to combat this virus as soon as possible. This was Jessica from Korea Now.